right here. At least we got some heat on the way, baby. <laughs> What's good, Crow Gang? Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Let's start this video off with do your boy a solid, man. Smash that subscribe button and get this video a like, you guys. In today's video, man, as you can see on the thumbnail, and you know, a little clip in the beginning, man, we will be doing a second review on the Air Jordan for Frozen Moments because they do release this upcoming Saturday on the Sneakers app and probably at Select Boutiques. This is a women's exclusive and they will not be doing extended size. But besides that, man, I do want to come to you guys with a discussion, man. I want to ask y'all what sneakers do y'all feel like is going to sit this weekend, man, or these upcoming weeks because we got the Palomino 3. What? I said Palomino 3, y'all. We got the Palomino ones, man. We got the Palomino ones. We got the Air Jordan 4 Frozen Moments. We got the Union joints about to drop also on the sneakers app. And we got one more sneaker, man. We got one more sneaker. These, we got the Air Jordan 5 Burgundy. So out of these pairs right here, which sneaker do y'all feel like it's gonna sit? Cause one of them gotta sit, man. One of them gotta sit, there's too much heat. I doubt if all of them sell out with the economy the way that it is today and with Jordan brand charging the prices that they charging. But yeah, y'all let me know that in the comment section down below as we review these sneakers, man. Let's go. <sighs> Boom, so right here we do have an Air Jordan 4 box. You get that black box with that red uh, flight what that say? Yeah, red flight right there on this box. Regular Air Jordan 4 box. You know you got that all over cement print throughout the box, man. With that red flight. With the white flight with the red jump, man, y'all. The white flight with the red got that on jump, man. But anyway, we ain't tripping off no box. But the box label does read Women's Air Jordan 4 Retro. The colorway is light iron oil cell and neutral gray. This is a women's 12, which is equivalent to his man's 10 and a half, which is your boy size. I done had these uh, two months early. I believe I did get them in July sometime. So I've been having my pair. If you haven't checked out my first review and unboxing, make sure y'all go check that video out. It will be in the description section below and it will be up on the screen as well. And I also did an on foot look with a couple different lace swaps. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure you go check that out as well well man but i'm not trying to keep holding on to this box so y'all know what we gonna do with the box we gonna get it out of there man so with the box gone there's only one more thing left to do man let's get these sneakers in hand man so right here we do have the air jordan 4 frozen moments set to release this upcoming Saturday. Like I said, this is a women's exclusive. They will not be coming in extended sizing. The highest they will be going up is this size right here, which is a 12W, which is equivalent to a 10 and a half men. So all my Bigfoot people, y'all don't have to pass on these, which I really don't understand. I don't understand why Jordan brand why they did that with this pair? I understand why they do their women's exclusive. Get the ladies they shoes, man. But these just don't scream women, man, in my opinion. It's, it's an all-over gray shoe with a little hits of chrome right there. And I can't say that the chrome wings and the chrome eyelids is a reason why they made these a women's exclusive because chrome silver can be for anybody. We all wear silver. Look, your boy rocking some silver diamonds right there. So we all can wear silver, man. It doesn't mean that it should be a women's shoe, man. And I believe it represents uh, like a final shot or something like that, man. Pretty much a frozen moment when the crowd is, you know what I'm saying? Something gotta happen and Jordan made it happen. So I feel like with that being the meaning behind this shoe right here, it should have been available for everybody. But details, details, details. And the inside you do get shoe paper. So we got shoe paper in the inside that comes in this pair. You do have a white uh, uh, insole with that black jump man right there. Moving on to the side, you do have that gray. This is more like a, I, I wanna say like suede right here. You do got that gray like 
uh, Fred up sway or however you want to say it man look like they just took something to scrape it so you do got that type of suede texture right there but coming up here to the back part of the shoe and the upper of the shoe it is like another form of gray but this is more like a new buck you do get a white sock liner right there as you can see you get the chrome or the silver uh joy wings right here on the joy force also through these lace holes right here moving up to the net you get a gray net right here with the black in the back of the gray net coming around to the side you get another chrome hit right here on these lace holes same thing with the net on the front of the toe box so right here you got that that gray suede right here as well and then on the front you got like a i want to say patent leather but it, i don't think that's really like a patent leather it's some type of it's some different type of material man it's not really patent leather man because patent leather looks different it give you more of a of a shine and you know what I'm saying? This this is not really doing that. It's some type of material that's close to patent leather, but I don't think it's patent leather, but that's just my humble opinion. And on the bottom, we do have that gray, uh, that cell, and some hits of white. And on the front of the toe box, you get the gray where your stars are at. You know what I'm saying? And on the side right here, you get that cell wrapping around right here so in my opinion i feel like these definitely could have did without the sale if we would have got white right there i feel like it would have made this shoe a hundred times better still a fire shoe as you can see i did pick these up like i said i already had these two months early but bands though they are releasing this upcoming saturday i figured i'd hit y'all with another review but we're gonna go over some other stuff in this video as well so it's not just gonna be about these so for those that did watch the first review you don't feel like man i'm just watching another review of the same shoe nah man we're gonna discuss some other things but also on the back you do have a white jump man back there on both pairs they do come og lace with like a pair of sail laces i want to say yeah some sail laces or it might be like a real light gray but i believe it was sail laces this is a lace swap that your boy did and speaking of lace swaps again y'all haven't checked out that video make sure y'all go check it out dope video probably like 18 minutes 18 minutes long but right here you do have that jump man with that flight on the tongue right here on the back of the tongue you know you got your standard upside down air jordan right here outlined in gray with the white air jordan right in man so that's that these were manufactured uh january 4th 2023 to to april 18 2023 so a couple months in manufacturing on this pair right here so i brought these out with the lace swap to ask y'all man which laces would you go with if you had this pair right here and you had to do a lace swap this lace these laces right here are a pair of neutral gray laces that i threw in here i thought that was a clean look it kind of brung out the uh the other colors of gray made it more you know made it more subtle with that uh with that darker gray right there if you want to throw on because y'all know it'd be hard to do gray on gray it'd be hard to match that exact light gray like if you wearing a pair of gray jeans or maybe a gray shirt so i figured that darker gray will help match any other gray that i throw on because it's a lot of gray on this shoe man so i felt like the darker neutral gray laces kind of gave it more of a subtle look but in the other sneaker i'm not wearing mismatched laces y'all i literally did this to ask you guys and show you guys if you didn't want to go check out the lace swap video but anyway right here we do have some unc blue laces or some baby blue laces in this pair right here and y'all already know i just felt like <clears throat> excuse me i just felt like this light blue just looks so good with gray like blue look good with a lot of different colors especially that light blue that unc blue it just blend right with a lot of different colors so i felt like this light blue right here was actually not a bad look at all man so y'all let me know which laces would y'all go with would y'all go with the light blue or baby blue or unc blue whichever one you want to call it laces right here or would you go with the dark gray neutral the dark neutral gray laces or just neutral gray which lace swap 
would you go with if you had this pair right here and you decided to, if you had to pick between these two, man, I'm not going to say, oh man, uh, uh, I'm not telling you, you don't have an option to keep the regular laces or go with white or go with black. If these were the only two laces that you had, if these shoes came with these two laces, would you go with gray or would you go with blue? Y'all let me know that in the comment section. I'm still on the fence. I don't know which one. It, it all depends on the fit for me. It all depends on the fit, but if I had to, like if I had to pick a lace and I had to stick with that lace, I would have to go with the neutral gray laces, but that's only because it will make this shoe more versatile, man. With this one right here, I feel like you gotta have, uh, you know, a certain type of fit on, man, with rocking this, this gray and blue. You can't just go throw on a uh, 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 purple and, and green and yellow and other colors when you got this gray and blue shoe. So this is more like picking this for a certain outfit, but these right here, the neutral gray laces, you can do gray with a lot of different colors. So that's just my opinion if I had to, but I do like this color better, man. I feel like it just pop. That blue look good with that, uh, with that gray, man. It does contrast very well in my opinion, but y'all let me know the content is for y'all, not for me. So y'all let me know in the comment section which laces y'all would've went with. But while I do got this shoe in hand, I did wanna, uh, I don't know, oh here go right here, oh here go right here. So I did go with this hat right here when I did rock these joints. And that is the reason I went with the blue laces. And that's just to give y'all, you know, a feel of what I was saying. We do got the sail right here on this hat with the sail on the bottom of the shoe right there. We also have the, uh, we also had the gray under brim. You know what I'm saying? We got the gray under brim and we got that, that baby blue right there on the front of the hat and we got more some something, something like a little metallic right there so i feel like this hat right here was just a perfect matchup when i did do the blue laces but i just showed y'all that to show y'all an example of what i mean by when you rock the blue laces you just you, you gotta make sure you pull it all together you gotta make sure it makes sense so that's why i would go with the gray laces man but y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions on the upcoming air Jordan 4 frozen moment second release this saturday alongside the air Jordan one unions y'all let me know what y'all think of these man i will rate these a solid uh nine out of ten like i said in my first video if you haven't seen that the only thing that didn't give them a 10 out of 10 is that sale right there at the bottom and throughout the shoe man i feel like they could have just gave us white i don't know why they put sale with gray and silver it just don't make sense man i just feel like jordan brand is i don't know what they thinking they just like you know what put sale put sale. we ain't gonna do white do sale man we ain't gonna do white do coconut milk i don't know if they just stand away from the white but then they give us a white sock liner you know what i'm saying then this gonna get all i don't want to say it's gonna my it ain't, mine's not gonna get dirty, but it has potential to get dirty, man, which is not good in my opinion. But yeah, y'all let me know y'all humble opinion of the Air Jordan 4 frozen moments. Are you going out to these Saturday on the sneakers app or if they are in your local area? Will you be picking these up? Like I said, they do go up to a 12W, which is equivalent to a 10 and a half minute. So if you have bigger feet, you can still answer the question. Would you pick these up if they came in extended sizing? Would this be a cop for you if they came in extended sizing? But now that we got this review out of the way, the second unboxing, we can get rid of these and move on to the next discussion, man. So this week, as you know, well, not this week, these upcoming weeks, we got a couple of bangers that's dropping, man. Like I told y'all in the beginning, we got the Air Jordan 5 Burgundies. We have the Palomino Ones. We got the, the Union collab dropping this weekend. And we have the Frozen Moment Fools dropping as well. And we still do have the uh, Red Cement uh, Air Jordan Fours. That's, that's right around the corner too. So with all that being said, y'all let me know 
which sneaker y'all feel like is going to sit. Because some, something got to sit, man. Something got to sit. All these sneakers are not going to sell out. Not with the economy. Where is that right now? Something got to sit. Kids going back to school. Everybody got time to be spending all that money with Jordan Brand with these back to back, back to back uh, good releases, man. So, in my humble opinion, I would have to say, I would have to say, I feel like the Burgundy Fives are going to sit in the, in the bigger sizes. Like, like, like maybe like a 12, 13, 14, all them big crazy sizes. Maybe a couple 11 and a half, something like that. But I feel like 10 and a half and under for the Burgundy Five definitely going to sell. Like I said, school right around the corner. A lot of these kids wear Burgundy shirts and, and it goes with their uniform. And I know a lot of kids uh, and people, period, they love Air Jordan Fives. And that's a clean colorway. And it's actually a retro of another colorway that, or the same colorway that dropped uh, back back a while back you know what i'm saying we already had a pair of burgundy five so with that being said it's going to draw a lot of people to them because if they did get the first release or they do still have them and they're not in that condition that a brand new pair would be people going to pick them up i do see them moving but like i said i feel like in the bigger sizes they will sit around maybe just for a little while but i feel like that has potential to be one of the sitters now for smaller sizes, I feel like the Air Jordan 4 red cement will sit in the or in the smaller sizes because it's an all white shoe. You know what I'm saying? It's not the best looking Air Jordan 4, but now I gotta take that back, y'all. I gotta take that back. Your boy gotta take that back. If I'm honestly speaking, Air Jordan 4, they just don't do bad, man. Air Jordan 4s just don't flop, bro. They could be any color, like even the frozen moment fours. That's not a Jordan 4 for everybody. Uh, all gray shoe with, with silver on it, silver and sale. Everybody can't put their fists together to make that sneaker look good. So they wouldn't want it. And some people might might call it ugly, but they still gonna sell. It's gonna be more people to like it than dislike it because it's an Air Jordan 4. You know what I'm saying? And we just living in an Air Jordan 4 era right now. And it is what it is. So with that being said, I gotta switch. And it's kind of hard, man. It's kind of hard because this is a dope sneaker that I'm about to say, but I got to keep it real, man. So with that being said, I feel like the Palomino Air Jordan ones will surprise a lot of people, man. I feel like the Palomino Air Jordan ones is going to be the sitter out of all these sneakers that's coming up. Because if we, if we just stop and pay attention to what's been going on with all the Air Jordan releases, we got some fire Air Jordan 1 colorways that they still end up sitting. The Lucky Green Jordan 1, that was a fire colorway. The uh, the True Blue Jordan 1, that was a fire colorway. The Jordan 1 Lanies, the women's exclusive, those was fire. Uh, even, even the UNC toes, they end up selling out, but you know what I'm saying? They, they still sat around for a little while, but it's like people just, ah, they just don't respect the Jordan 1s no more. And I feel like, it, 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 it hasn't been enough early pairs around of the Palomino Jordan 1s to get that hype up there. You know what I'm saying? When people see people rocking them early and it just make you want the shoe because you see people styling it and it kind of give you an idea of what you can do with the shoe. So now when they release you, you want to grab them. Do I think they going to move? Of course they going to move. You got people that's like, bro, like me. They a must cop. Of course they a must cop. I don't, I don't have the OG mochas or none of that. Even though people do love that mocha colorway, but I'm just speaking on the lineup that we got. Now, if they sell out, they sell out. They just going to sell out, period, because people going to buy them. You know what I'm saying? But if we going off the economy and every all these good releases coming up and we had to choose a shoe that I feel like people will gravitate away from to gravitate towards another shoe, I feel like it would be the Palomino Air Jordan 1 because right now it just haven't been, you know what I'm saying, haven't been the Jordan 1s right now. People buying more Air Jordan 1 lows than Jordan 1 highs. And a lot of, uh, I only, I really, I'm really only saying this because before the Lucky Greens came out, everybody was talking about them, bro. Everybody was saying, that's a clean colorway, it's a must cop, gotta have those. Bro, they came out, 
they sat, bro. Right now, they going under retail, bro. And even the UNC toes, bro, clean colorway, they going under retail, bro. So it's like we got to pay attention to what's going on in the sneaker world. Like, it's a clean shoe, of course. It's been a lot of clean Air Jordan ones, but people just not not gravitating towards the Air Jordan 1 no more. They kind of losing their steam. If they were, it, it'll probably sell better if it was an Air Jordan 1 low. But you got people that's like, bro, that's a fire shoe. But you got to pay attention to what's coming up around that shoe time. Do I think that junk going to flop? Like, do I think it's going to go under retail? No. That's what's going to make the price shoot up on them joints. Because you got so many good sneakers or sneakers that people will gravitate to before they gravitate to an Air Jordan 1 that people going to sleep on them. And then you're going to have your resellers outside. You're going to have your people that buy up all the shoes outside. And then they're going to buy them all. Then once the, the Burgundy 5's gone, once the Air Jordan 4 Red Cement's gone, once the, uh, uh, what else I said, the Frozen Mall, is once all these other sneakers that that can get in their way, once those are gone, they're gonna try to double back and get the Palominos. Then people gonna shoot the price up, and that's what it's gonna be, man. Then they're gonna be selling for the high. So I feel like they're gonna sit, but at the end of the day, if they do sit, it's gonna be a good thing for the Palominos if they do end up sitting on shelves. Cause they look, put it this way. I feel like people will gravitate to a different shoe before they gravitate to the Palomino one because I don't see them sitting maybe in the smaller sizes if people don't want to want to buy them because all the bigger sizes the resellers gonna buy them I'm gonna buy them if they sitting I'm gonna buy them because because of what I just told y'all people can't get their hands on the other shoes that they gravitate to or they do get their hands on them and then they start getting some little extra money after they done got those and they want to double back for the Palomino ones it's going to happen bro then people going to want to charge that money for them and that's what it's going to be so I don't see them going on the retail but I don't see them selling like people think that they going to sell with all these sneakers that we got coming up not to mention the playoff ace dropping later on and uh in september as well so that's another banger that we got and the burgundy fives is dropping august 29th and the palomino ones dropping uh september 2nd bro that's a couple days away so hey man but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section what shoe do y'all feel like will sit out of all those shoes i'm not saying just take this with a grain of salt you guys i'm not saying that this is for sure i'm not i'm not a psychic i'm not a genius none of that i don't know the future i'm just i'm just saying it's my humble opinion i feel like if any shoe it would be the palomino ones but not to sit on shelves just not to sell like people would expect them to sell because they're going to get bought up but just not by the the what, 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 what word i'm looking for not by the not by the person that's trying to put them on a the toe like you're going to have people that's reselling them or, or maybe holding on to them for down the line they still going to sell that way they still going to sell out but i don't think they going to sell to people that's trying to put them on a the toe because of a lot of other sneakers that we got coming up but like i said that's just my humble opinion y'all let me know y'all humble opinion in the comment section down below and that's gonna do it for today's video you guys i love you guys i appreciate y'all for checking the video out make sure y'all hit that subscribe button give this video a like as well hug your loved ones let them know you love them and always remain solid y'all here we go pro gang pro gang pro gang Pro gang, pro gang, pro gang.